On this video, I'm going to give you my top 10 RV mods under $50 that I would do again today. If you've gotten a new RV or maybe you've had yours a while, I thought about giving you these top 10 under $50 mods. They're cheap, inexpensive mods that you can do to your camper. And these are the ones, these are my top 10 that I actually love. Now, if you like my shirt, I will put a link in the description box. I am selling these on our website. I've got a whole travel RV enthusiast sections over there that you can go check out and I'm putting new ones on there weekly so if you don't see something you like maybe you can go back and check later. If you use Family 15 at checkout you will get 15% off your order. These are in no particular order and down in the description box if it is something that I can link for you I will link that below. Well, let's get into this video. <laughs> For my first under $50 mod is these step runners for the steps on your outside of your camper. I can't tell you how many times I had come in and out of the camper and slipped on these steps. I feel like this metal is very dangerous, especially in the winter time. If a frost gets on these things, you're gone. It's, you're a goner. That's all I got to say. I did a video and I will link the video to this. These I got at the Dollar Tree and I made them. That's like been like two and a half years ago, almost three years ago. I just picked up some mats from the Dollar Tree. I punched holes in them and took some and took some hair ties and made me these step covers. Now they do, if you're not like the crafty type or you don't even wanna mess with it, they do sell them on Amazon and they're not terribly expensive. They're still under that $50 price point. But I did these here, it would have been, what, under $5 at the Dollar Tree. Can't believe we waited so long to put these in. And like I said, <laughs> these, I paid less than $5 for three of them and They've been on our camper now for almost three years. The next ones are step tread runners here in the inside. Our little Aspen gotten where she was scared to go up and down these steps because they she kept kind of slipping and sliding on them. So I ordered originally some from Amazon and put them on here. Then, for a Dollar Tree video, I made some from Dollar Tree and put them on here. But basically, it was this carpet tread. Then I just put some of the shelf liner on here to help hold them on, and they work great. So, no matter what your budget is, this here can be an easy mod. And, well, this is one that I would do again quickly because we waited too long. <laughs> Now, another really cheap mod was adding this door pull to the door. Cause well, I don't know if you're like me, but it seems like the door is always gets flung way over there and trying to grab it and get it back around always so hard. So we added this pull bar so that way it's easier to grab and pull and close the door. Super cheap, easy mod, and it was well worth it. And I would have done it again very quickly. Another really easy mod that I did to the outside here that helps when you're coming up to your camper and it's dark is the solar powered lights. If you don't want to leave all your lights on on your camper when you're gone so that when you come back you have light, this here, this solar power light is awesome and it works really good. Now, I got this one at Five Below. I think I paid like $8 for it, but they do have these on Amazon, and I am about to order some more because I like these so much. I have this one here at the steps, but I would like to put a couple more down the side. I have them just stuck up here. I have a Velcro command strip on here so that when we go to go travel day, I can just pull it off and put it inside, but then when we get to wherever we're going, I can just stick it back on 
and then it's ready to be used. Another great thing about this light, it is solar powered and that makes it boondocker friendly. In the bathroom, I have done a few mods that I would consider must haves and must do's. The first one is our faucet. The other faucet, it doesn't stick up high enough and you could barely get your hands because one, it's already a small sink and then you have it very low faucet. It made it hard to wash your hands and stuff in the sink. So I upgraded to this faucet. It was under $50 and I think that it was a great mod and super easy. I did it myself. The next mod is in here in the bathroom also and it is the toilet seat mod. I love this toilet seat, super easy to do. The other one, it had like weird grooves. It was hard to clean. And now I have, it has slow clothes on it. This was super easy and cheap mod. It was another project I've done myself. If you missed my video from a few weeks ago about my new Amazon favorites, this paper tile holder is on it, and I think that it was a great mod that I really like. I love how this doesn't just free spin. This is super RV friendly, and you can hang it vertically or horizontally. Another one that was from that same Amazon video is my light switch that turns my lamps in my camper on and off. This was super cheap, super easy, and adds a lot of convenience. Is adding puck lights throughout the camper, battery operated. So there's no wiring or nothing that you have to do. You just put a battery in them and they stick them up wherever you have a dark space and it makes it bright. I have these puck lights all over the camper. I have ones that I bought on Amazon and I even have the Dollar Tree ones. They're just as good. Easy cheap mod is putting a pizza stone in your oven. Now this here is something I, when I, when we first got our camper, I researched and researched because like I burnt the bottom of all kinds of stuff in the oven. Putting in a pizza stone was super inexpensive and, well, it made the biggest difference. If you don't have one in your oven yet, you need to try. A lot of people think you have to put it on top of the rack, but you don't. You put it under the rack, that's the best place for it. It works perfect and it rides fine and it hasn't broke yet. But even if it breaks, then you can still use it. It still works. You can thank me later for this mod. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you learned something new that you didn't know that you needed to add to your camper. Till next time, like and subscribe.